Hi, I'm KB with Nerd Files. How are you? Hello, I'm great. Thank you. Um, so I absolutely adore this show. I think it is so fantastic. Thank so I, you. my first question really is, how did you determine kind of which parts of your real life you wanted to share mm -hmm. and which were like completely off limits? Gosh, I mean, is anything completely off limits? <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, I would say the parts of my life that I decided to share are the parts that I felt like were going to reveal something universal about what it is to be in a family impacted by mass incarceration, what it is to be in my family, you know, with my dad, me, my teenage son. So there were certain things like we all went to Alabama together and went to his childhood home. Um, my dad drove an ice cream uh, cart, like an ice cream bike. Um, so like there were certain things that I was like, okay, that needs to be part of the show because, you know, like for example, the ice cream bike, well, my dad couldn't get a job. So he had to make up his own job and you don't just make up your own, you know, it, there was nothing you couldn't come up with something better than riding an ice cream bike <laughs> you know? so that's when right. i would go to real life when there's nothing better than what happened in real life mm. you know i i find that like one of the best parts of the show and i'm so glad that you do kind of a physical representation of her inner child. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's so important to see because we don't often get to do that. So talk a little bit about how kind of writing and crafting and creating this show mm -hmm. allowed you to help, uh, you know, heal your inner child in some oh, way. Yeah, well, for sure. I mean, I think I've, I've done, I've been involved in therapy. I've been working on therapy and healing this since I was probably, I think I went to therapy when I was 19. And so I've been doing this my entire adult life. And, um, you know, one of the things you learn early on is that maybe, I, you know, my parents in many respects had challenges that made it so that they could not take great care of me. And I was a foster child and all sorts of things happened. But in adulthood, I had to establish the relationship with the inner child, the little Tracy. And I had to learn how to parent her love her, take care of her, no matter what. And I wanted to sort of, and that is really what allowed me to succeed in life, you know, and to be a mother. Um, so I wanted to sort of show that process and show that inner child because there's a part of me that has never been touched by any of the things that has that have happened. And, um, I think it's very important to know that about yourself and to also interface with that part of yourself, listen to what it has to say to you, because that part of you is like the key to setting yourself free, the key to getting aligned with what's right for you, whether it's a relationship, a career, you know, a place to live, no matter, you know, whatever it is. So the, the inner child is just so key. I wanted to like make a whole meal out of it. Yes, and you do and you do it well. Um, and so my final question really is just a little bit lighter, you know, kind of what was your favorite thing about this experience and kind of sharing, you know, your life with these artists and these actors? What was your, your favorite part of, of crafting this season? I mean, my favorite part of this is really the collaboration. It's like, you get into a room with Carrie and Delroy and you watch what they do and the way that they embody literally the human experience. And, you know, I was pretty much blown away every day, every day. And it's, it's nothing, one person can't do it. It's all of us putting our energy, the cast, the crew, um, and coming together to hopefully offer people something that will help them heal, that will offer them the opportunity to set themselves free just a little bit more. And, and really to heal the black family is a big, big part of my mission and my purpose. So um, knowing that we were doing that by, by working through it ourselves, you know, I mean, what a gift.
Well, I mean, it's an absolutely fabulous show. And even, you know, kind of in the darkest of times, it's still, there's humor, there's laughter. And also I should just say, shout out to you guys for casting Folly and Jordan because they are such exceptional yeah, children. Really I just are. love it. They really yes. are. Yeah. <laughs> so just thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to chat with Nerdophiles. Have a lovely day. Thank you. You too.